Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on and show you guys how I prepare my sea moss. So here we have one ounce of dried sea moss and one ounce of hydrated sea moss. Um, you soak it overnight in spring water and when you're ready, you go ahead and blend it up. Here I have a stick blender. This baby is a lifesaver, you guys. It will change your sea moss making game all the way. Turn it all the way up. You kind of got to work with it. Um, you st I always start by doing a little water and just kind of pouring my water in over as time goes, as, as it gets finer and finer. But as you can see, it's already looking pretty good. Um, I use spring water all the time. So right now I am using, um, I usually start with about two ounces at a time. Um, right here is eight ounces of spring water, one ounce of sea moss. And that's my ratio. It's up to you what you want to use, how you prefer your sea moss. I like mine's a little bit runny. I don't like it too thick. Because if I added two drinks, I don't want it to be too jelly. I mean, too hard. So, you know, this is the way I like it. But yeah, baby, this is it right here. So I just keep blending until I'm satisfied. I don't want any, I don't like any beads or anything inside my sea moss. I've had it in so many types of ways. And this one is the best. It's from St. Lucica. It's sun-dried. It doesn't have all that salt on it. It is just the best. I love it. I get great results from it. Um, my clients do also. You know, I just wanted to show you guys. Because a lot of people say that they can't make it. And I'm like, this is so easy. But you got to have the proper tools. You have to have this stick. It would make it a much easier versus using a um, blender. And it's less mess which is great for me because I don't like to clean out the blender. You know, that's some work in itself. So, looks like it's about done. I'm going to keep going just a little while longer. But, yeah, this is how I like it. It has that good applesauce consistency. And, um, yeah. Looks like I added the whole eight ounces. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, this amount right here, one ounce usually will last me roughly about a month. You can probably make it last. It depends on how many people in the household is taking it, how often you prefer to take it. Um, I usually do it once to twice a day. Um, and it has changed my life. CMOS has changed my life. Dr. Savy was not kidding about this, guys. You have to try it. And if you find the way that you can ingest it, go for it. I also sell it in pill form, which is dried. And it um and it, and it it's powder that I put into pill form along with burdock and batarac, which gives you a total of 102 minerals. This one just gives you the 92. So here I'm gonna um put the gel into an eight-ounce jar. This 8-ounce jar can be placed in the freezer, and it'll last up to three months, or in the refrigerator up to two and a half to three weeks. But here you go, guys. Look how easy that was. It saves money. You don't have to pay anyone for these jars. I'm sure some they're getting very pricey because of what's going on right now. Everybody wants to get a little sea moss in their body to give them more minerals to keep them more healthy um but yeah this is it i hope you guys like it follow me on my page or you can go you can order from my website at a nature's org. i will put the website in the description um also you can just inbox me i can give you the details I'm also going to be sending out free samples soon. So you guys keep following me to see what I got coming. All right. Talk to you later.